Literally, I know just like three songs from Madonna. That's leading us into something. In today's episode, Lauren and I are going on a little trip. It was our anniversary a couple weeks back. And like good couples, they go and do anniversary things. If you didn't do anything for your anniversary, don't worry, I'm not shaming you. Obviously, that's not what this channel is about. This is a no shame zone. No shame zone. So, whatever thing you get into, just hang out and party and we talk about photography. But off topic. COVID has gotten us crazy, like cuckoo crazy. And we needed to get out of the house, but safely, because we don't want no corona in our lungs. Have you seen those pictures online? Yeah, I'm sure you have. I have too, they're taunting. So we want to do it as safely as possible. And what we thought, well, LA has been kind of like a, a minefield of COVID, COVID there, COVID there. And we're like, mm -mm, we gotta go somewhere. So we ended up going up the coast a little bit. Now, this episode might be a little weird because it's gonna be kind of a review on, on a hotel. Caleb, have you gotten into the hospitality business? No. Now the past several times going up the coast with Jason, I've seen this thing called the Madonna Inn. It looked very interesting. The sign was cool and it was pink. You know I like pink. And Lauren, being from the Bay Area, has also known about the Madonna Inn. Now if you don't know about the Madonna Inn, it's, it's, it's a hotel. It's a big hotel full of a bunch of different rooms. And Madonna has lived there several years now. No, she has. Lauren has been wanting to go to the Madonna Inn for some time now. But prices have been expensive town. But because of COVID, the prices came down a bit. So we decided this is a chance. This is the chance. Seize the moment. Carpe D him. So we decided to hop in the car and have a nice anniversary getaway. So obviously I had to pack myself an accoutrement of cameras. I took my EOS 1N, a cyber shot, and my Super 8 camera. And Lauren brought her newly acquired Polaroid Now. I guess I'm rubbing off on her. So now with our cameras packed, ready to go, we are headed up north. The first stop on our journey was gonna be Los Alobos. I think I'm saying that right, maybe? Who, who knows, I can't be. We wanted to go there because we heard it was cute and there was wine tastings to go. So we figured we'll just pick up some wine tastings and head to the Madonna Inn. We ended up also getting some really yummy barbecue out of a truck, truck barbecue. Not everything has to be made in a restaurant, guys. Open up your mind. So naturally, I had to put in some Portra 400 left over from my Morocco trip to start this journey. After chowing down and walking around, we hit the road jack to the Madonna Inn, right outside San Luis Obispo, or slow, for you kids who want to be in the know. When we arrived at the Madonna Inn, first things first, check in. Second things, second, sanitize. Just, just sanitize everything. Am I crazy for sanitizing things? Am I crazy for sanitizing things? Am I crazy? Am I crazy for sanitizing the things? Sanitize. <gasps> sanitize. Sanitize. Now, if you don't know about the Madonna Inn, you're in for a gaudy treat. All these rooms are a blast from the past in both design and amenities. Yeah, there was no hair dryer in the room. You had to call. This won't style itself. The great thing about the Madonna Inn is that it's only a few hours drive north. And each one of the rooms is a different theme. There's a jungle room, there's a rock room, there's a there's a wild west room, there's, there's one that's modeled after hell. Who would pick that one? I heard it's really hot. It being our anniversary and all, we decided to pick the Love's Nest. What it really got me was the fact that it's pink and it had a spiral staircase going up to an observatory tower. So that'd be cool. I like pink and I like towers. Going up the stairs, gonna go up the stairs, going up the stairs, going up the stairs. Ooh, look at the view. Look at the view. That's cute.
Now the Madonna Inn is a huge complex. There's a gift shop, multiple restaurants. They also have a pool. So we checked out the pool that actually had a really cool waterfall. Now it was a little too cold, so we didn't dip our toes in. Maybe next time. After that, we had to take a stroll to check out the restaurant and the gift shop. Gift shop had this really nice chalice that Lauren ended up buying because it's, it's part, it was pink. That's my type of carpet. Rooms, rooms, that's our room. So after we were done walking around, we ended up going back to our hotel room and then we had to have a photo shoot because the room was cool. Like, how would you not have a photo shoot? Lauren borrowed some pink outfits from one of her friends so that she could match the room. I mean, you look online and you just see people just like taking pictures and stuff. So we we're like, well, we'll take pictures too. I mean, I guess it's kind of like what I do. So it makes sense, right? The one downside about the room in terms of photo shoot is that there's not a lot of available light. So if you don't have fast enough film, it's gonna be kind of a pain. Good thing I brought my light stick, but even then some shots just didn't turn out.
it was fun shooting with the multiple cameras. My EOS 1N had my 50mm 1.4, so there was some available light there. Also, the cyber shot did really well because, well, there's a flash on it. Once we dialed in the exposure on the Polaroid, got a few good shots. Some were overexposed and blown out, but, you know... Polaroid. What are you gonna do? After a quick little photo shoot, we ordered food from the hotel's restaurant. Now they were having a special that was a four course meal for $40. So you know, we got two of them. There was rib and, and prime rib and, and salads and buns and carrots and baked potatoes and pink cake. Those cakes were yum. They were super delicious. And even the day after, they were super moist. Ooh, moist. And after that, we kind of just passed out because we were in a food coma. And we all can relate to food comas. The next day we packed up, decided to order to go from a place in Slow and eat our breakfast at the beach. We ended up going to Avila Beach, which was only 10 minutes away from Slow. Now this was a Monday, so there's barely anyone on the beach. It was beautiful. You hear the crashing waves while eating a wonderful brunch. After we were done with our food, we weren't ready to go yet. So Lauren and I decided to go walk around on the beach. Now the only film that I brought for my Bolex was Vision 3's 50D. So there's no way that I actually could shoot it inside the hotel room. It was just way too dark. But went to the beach. That's where I shot the shit out of it. And obviously Lauren took her Polaroid to the beach. It was nice, just the two of us walking along the beach taking photos together. And we even managed to use the self timer on the Polaroid so that we get a picture of both of us to commemorate our three years. Congratulations to us.
But after an hour or so hanging out at the sweet beach, we had to head home. So we hopped in the trusty station wagon and got ourselves going. Listen to more 70 music. <laughs> I ended up needing a coffee because we kind of had a terrible night's sleep, mostly because the room creaked. The wind was hitting the tower and so we had like nightmares. It was actually a really creepy room, to be honest. Dude, someone died in there. I know it. I don't know it. Not, not for a fact, but I know it. So I needed another coffee, but I found an abandoned Sears. So naturally, I had to kill the rest of my Portrait 400 roll. No film left behind. That's it, that's all she wrote. I'm done, that's all she wrote. That's all she wrote, that's all she wrote. Oh my God, that's all she wrote. Just a little Sears pit stop. Sears pit stop. <sighs> Unfortunately, that concludes our anniversary getaway. We had a fantastic time. Cheers to another year. Clink. We kind of want to do something like this every few months to kind of break up the monotony of COVID. At least, you know, do it safely. Maybe next time we'll go to the Rihanna Inn. Who knows? Maybe it's going to be just a bunch of hotel rooms that are raining. They just give you umbrellas. Well, join me next time where I'll teach you the secrets of life. It starts with a good skincare regimen. So I'll teach you that. Just kidding. I don't have one. My girlfriend wants me to have one though. So, okay. Okay, dear. You got me. I'll do it.